Alrighty guys, so you guys requested it, so I will do a video of it. Alright, so what I'm going to show you is my emergency kits that I actually have in my truck. In case that something bad happens to where I'm not just stranded out in the middle of nowhere. And I'm able to do certain stuff. So fall is approaching and winter is coming afterwards. My area likes to stay between negative 15 and negative 20 degrees for most of the winter. So this would majorly help out to keep my uh, happy button moving. Go over what I have in these kits that I keep in the truck. You know, you guys might want to do the same. You know, it's better to have a little emergency stuff than it is to have nothing. These could save you from a major headache. All right, so first I keep this Tech Life socket kit in my truck. This is a full impact rated kit. I've been using these for years. I've been using a single socket for ever, pretty much for everything and it's still do and it's still majorly doing its job. All right, this kit is like $23, I think, and it is totally worth it. It comes with a couple extensions. And is, uh, this is a half inch kit. It comes with 10 through 9, 21, 22, 24, 27, 30, and 32. And so the main one I need for the truck is 21. And I also need, I think it's 14 and 15 for my trailers. I'm able to fix my trailers as well. This is a cheap uh, little kit, the 23 bucks, I think it is. All right, so next I have this, uh, this pack out kit. Right out of the bat, you see the Reobulate. This slate is 400 lumens. You can get this for $50 uh, as a two pack. And yes, uh, this obviously I'll be needing this when it's nighttime so I could uh, swap out a tire or if bolts or lug nuts are loose, I could just fix them. I have some straps. Some straps are being used right now. So there's only one in here. There are four, uh, three more go in here. Just got to roll that back into itself, but I'm using the straps right now because I, I'm hauling stuff all the time and as my first jump starter i do have this tech life tech life gave this to me a few years ago and i actually use this for uh some cars and the boat and this actually works very well uh you can get this kit for like 90 bucks i think as you can see it comes with some terminal clamps and so you just plug this plug this in there turn it on and then you could there is a booster button so you could actually just jump start your car without connecting to another battery to another car battery so this actually does work I, I like it and i thank you tech life for sending me that yeah the i did that video years ago so and that is in this kit i love milwaukee pack out this is actually my uh, most favorite pack out unit that they make it's uh what model number is this if it even says it i don't think it says it but this is this is the the one that's a couple inches tall this one comes with a few organizers inside. This is the main kit that carries most of my stuff. Alrighty, so in here, I do have a couple of screwdrivers. I have the, my extra lug nuts and my lug nut key. I have a couple of adapters in case if I need them. And I do have a deep socket, a D21 millimeter socket, just because that's what my uh, lug nuts are. Perfect fit. So that's in that container. And I do have the quarter in, uh, the half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter in here in case if I need to uh, unscrew something. I do have uh, your standard jumper cables. I do have uh, Milwaukee gloves in here. I also have light sticks and a few flares in here, along with a few zip ties just in case. Uh, I think those are three flares. I do have the Hilti SIW6A2A22 impact wrench in here. This will take off my, uh, my uh, lug nuts off of the truck. I'll show you guys that in a second. This is set to 150 foot pounds of torque. 24 millimeter socket with nut. Let's tighten this up. It's 150 foot pounds. All right, so let's take this out. Zero problem whatsoever. 150 foot pounds of torque is the max for like super duty trucks. This is more than able to do it, which that's why it is in my emergency roadside assistance kit. I do have a bit of uh, sanitizer wipes just in case. I have a, some pont a few ponchos, a safety vest, a few first aid things in there. 
like band-aids and stuff. And down here, I do have a tire repair kit. I got this at Home Depot for like 10 bucks. I'm able to do one, four more, uh, I'm able to do four more punctures in the tire. And I do have some red tape. Do we have paper towel? I do have a few screws and connectors that my truck came with. Of course, I have my truck sticker in there because that's originated with the truck. Like I said, this is my favorite Milwaukee pack out that they make because it, uh, it's a perfect size. There's extra compartments inside. And this also fits perfectly underneath the seat of the rear of the truck. And like I said, this perfectly fits underneath that there. I do have like uh, rags as well, micro microfiber rags. Put this in there as well, just like that. Close. That simple. Like I said, uh, I have straps being used. I use this Milwaukee crate for my garbage and to hold my oil. So yeah. All right, so as you can see, that emergency kit is actually a very good kit to have because like it just makes something that you think you would need in case of emergencies. If you break down, if you, if you have a flat tire or if you gotta uh, even uh, put your spare on, you know, it makes a world of a difference. And also make sure you have your uh, the jack in your car so you can lift the car up. All right, make sure that's there. If you don't have one, go get one because you can't, that emergency kit is almost useless without a jack. All right, but I seriously guys make, uh, you guys make up some sort of a, uh, of a kit so you are sort of in a better position than a compl being completely screwed. It's just a smart thing to do. It's a good investment because just in case if something happens, you're covered to a certain extent. All right, guys, just so you know, the video I uploaded on September 4th of 2021 is actually an older drill. This is not a new drill by any means. I thought the drill that I previously had was SF4HA22, but this SF6HA22 is actually the drill that I previously owned. I've owned this drill since... February of 2020. So I do apologize, you guys. This is that is not a new drill. So let's just continue on to the emergency roadside assistance kit. That's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.